Hi again. Time to paint the cloth this time. Get started anyway. And I, I'm gonna do this sort of aiming for uh, a dark blue gray like in the cover art. So for my base color, I've chosen shadow gray. We'll see if it needs a shade color. I have the my gray liner ready, if so. Otherwise, I have a couple of other colors, uh, steel gray and wolf gray, to lighten it later for the shades. Uh, sorry, highlights. And as you can see, I've 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 done the same thing. I've put on a new um, layer of um, primer on these parts as well. Now, it might seem like this will go very quickly because the areas involved are so small. And that's partially true. However, I need to be start being very, very careful here so, so I don't mess up the areas that have already been painted. Also, all these strings are kind of tricky to paint. See, I, I went quite there for a while. I had to concentrate for a second to, to really focus on getting just the areas I wanted and nothing else. And like here, and the edges here. I want to cover up most of this brown liner, uh, which was like the provisional shade color. But I want to leave just a little hint of it. And not too much though. So this is really delicate work. See, I went over there. Luckily, when it's been glossed, gloss varnished like this, ah, god damn it. See, there's a little bit of gray there that is not coming out. That will require repainting with the skin color later, and I don't have it on my palette anymore uh, because um, I change palettes occasionally. I mean, uh, the the uh, the paper on the white palette has to be changed occasionally, and then I lose the previous uh, colors I had on there. This is covering fairly well. I mean, it's very well diluted. It's at least at least 50% diluted with water and, and medium. And it's not one of the extra opaque colors, but it's still very covering. So that's good, I suppose. And um, it's only going to take probably two coats at most to get the base color where I want it to be. And then we can move on to the highlights. Now, I've, well, now I've covered the main areas. What's left is all the strings. I I don't think I'll do all of that on camera for you because that would be really tedious. Watching me painstakingly paint that uh, and while not saying anything at all because I have to focus so 
very very much to get them all exactly right that would be annoying so I'll skip ahead here see when I'll see when the uh, the base goes and we're back after a slightly longer pause than expected I had to change the battery on my camera as well but I finished up the base coating and I did go in with a gray liner in a few places like in, in the spaces underneath the uh, um, the loincloth for example where it would be darker and now uh, I'm trying out a sort of uh, highlight color where I've mixed in some of the steel blue it's turning it rather blue which leads me to think that I won't be adding any more of that color probably that paint I'll yeah it's gonna be go up way too much into the blue range if I keep adding this color to it um, so I'll be lightening it with a wolf gray instead probably and as is this is the first highlight I'm applying it rather liberally uh, anywhere anywhere that that sort of zenithal light would hit directly I'm just putting it all over not worrying about being uh, precise in the placement but when you get underneath here you would want to keep the base color in a few places yeah but yeah it's going mostly blue here so highlighting the strings is an interesting question because is there any point in putting down all the highlights I wonder because I'm just gonna be covering them all up because it's such a small area and it's only the final one that's gonna be showing it's really really difficult to highlight just what, what I can do is for example say this portion of the string here on the hip now this this time around I, I'm highlighting the entire length of it and I can say that the next highlight down here where I'm pointing right now oh you can't see it sorry I, I could leave the portion that would be shadowed by the arm and simply next time just highlight this length and then shorten the highlights more and more as I get into uh, the brighter highlights and what's happened here is that also generally speaking uh, the the top will be highlighted more than the loincloth because it's more <laughs> in the sun uh, th this the lower the, the front part of the loincloth is sort of shadowed by her upper body and the butt part of the loincloth would normally get a lot of sun but it's going to be covered by the cloak so uh, this is why I've, I've left more of the base color here in the shadows while the top portion practically all of the base uh, color was covered up now I just have to go over it with this highlight. Also the string here, which will be shadowed by the shield. I'm not going to put many more highlights on or, or the back here, for example. I'm just going to do probably 
probably no more than this actually because this part nobody's ever going to see that let me show you when I put the cloak on yeah you're not going to see that there, there's no point in me highlighting that further I'm just kind of doing it out of some sort of uh, perfectionism right now. I'm putting in a second layer of this highlight here. And this strap. And here's, here's, um, I'm not sure if you can tell. There's there's slight raising of the cloth, like a ridge here, and it's not quite folded over, but almost. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to leave a slight shadow underneath that when I put in the coming highlights. as in not highlight that more. I'm gonna paint like the top ridge here and then paint just up leaving a slight shadow there. But yeah, that's the first, oh, and you might have noticed I'm, I'm painting the grip of the sword this color as well because I noticed they did that on the cover. Um, but yeah, that's the first highlight done. Let me mix up the second one. I have my second highlight ready to go, and I'm gonna use the buttocks here, here as a test bed, so to speak, because as I mentioned and showed, it's all gonna be covered up by by the um, by the cloak. Just testing out how bright this is. I added a little bit more steel blue, gray and a little bit of uh, wolf gray to the mix. Uh, and I'm gonna do this thing where I'm not highlighting the string all the way. Just the portions that we catch the most light. Same thing here, I'll go mostly for the front part here. Try to catch this. This is a pretty deep fold here. It's not going to get a lot more light. I'm not sure the translucency of my paint is good enough here, but we'll see. And here, let's see if I can follow my stated procedure for highlighting this. Uh, I'm well. I'm, I'm just trying to follow the contours of. The sculpt here as well as I can it's difficult you can't really explain this in advance you just have to sort of see it 
uh, and um, simply follow the folds and 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 ridges and and various bumps and and whatnot in the sculpt. And what I'm doing now is I added just a slight amount of the wolf gray again to the mix. And I'm going in. I'm I'm just covering a slightly smaller area here. And I'll just cover the front portion here. Now I'm just adding a few dots. This color is barely, you can barely tell from the previous one, which is good. Um, that's fine, actually. Now I'm sort of really painting in real time here. Um, I, oops, that was a bit much. I'm trying to have very little paint on the brush. You can hopefully see. Just covering a smaller and smaller area each time. Sure, how far up I'm gonna go, and I would be much more concerned with getting this part very exactly right if any of it would be visible. But as, I, as it's not, I'm just simply using it, as I said, as a sort of test bed. Now this mix looks a lot lighter. Yeah, that's perhaps a bit too big a jump. Let's mix that down a bit. Oh, that, that turned out very light. Ah, oh, well, at least I know. Let's see. Do I want to do the loincloth anymore? I'm, I think I'm starting to reach the point where this is not... going to receive much more in the way of highlights down here. Um, just maybe just the, the very edges here. Oops. And let's see what happens when I put this up top. See, I've stopped highlighting strings on the sides. I can give this here just one final highlight. And here, I'm in between the breasts, I'm shrinking the highlights, so I'm not going all the way here, but just staying in the middle. But this top ridge and the shoulder straps. I do want to catch all of that. You see this shoulder strap here actually has a split in it, so... And I might want to get like the bottom edges here. Yeah, so let's go back to that mix that I thought was too light. And let's keep that simply 
to a few places up top. Oh, wow, that was that looks really bright, but when I blend it out and let it dry, and it does dry rather rapidly here. This is why I can because the paint is very thin and I am uh, layering it on uh, quickly I can sort of see immediately what the effect will be And this video might run a little long. I'm be a bit more than 20 minutes, but I want to finish this. I I uh, I want to get the cloth done. Pardon me for not talking too much because I want to get this done quickly. I'm focusing on what I need to do and doing it quickly. Now, now I think you can see the difference between the color here, there, and some darker color in between. And that darker color is actually the first highlight. We've gone up quite a ways beyond that. Okay, so the timer ran out there. Uh, because I'm running a bit late here, I went ahead and just added one final highlight just on the top of the boobies. And I evened out the shadow here a little bit. And then I put a coat of varnish on the bikini as well. So now that part of the clothing is done. Next up is the leather, by which I mean the straps, like this belt going across here, the strap here, the uh, sheath and uh, hilt for the dagger here, the fan brace here, and yeah, an O, oh, and the, the straps on the inside of the shield. You can see here I've just painted the skin on the inside of the shield in just a basic deep dark green brown for the rest which I'm probably gonna leave like that but the straps uh, need to be colored in I don't know when those videos will come up I I'm gonna be pretty busy in the coming week not sure when I'll have time to paint but as soon as possible I can promise you that so until next video this is Dr. Yan. Wishing you happy painting and signing off.